हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट अमृता यूनिवर्सिटी काउंसलिंग सो ए ट्रिपल ई काउंसलिंग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कॉमन मिस्टेक्स एंड द डॉक्यूमेंट्स एक्सेट्रा एवरी थिंग अबाउट दिस काउंसलिंग डेट्स एंड एवरी थिंग सो ऑल दोज हुव नॉट सीन द डेट्स प्लीज रिमेंबर थर्टी एथ मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव for registration for ccap right so ccap candidates are advised to basically enter their current available best je mains 2025 score and upload the corresponding score card only so if you are coming through je mains upload the one which is the showing the best of your two score cards right and if you are registering till uh, you know Uh, 20, the 30th may then only you are eligible for getting into trial allotment and if you are registering after 30th may then you will be only considered for first allotment so answer is yes you can also register after 30th may but then directly to the first allotment second june is the publication of the trial allotment result after that one day will be given so that you can edit your option entries right publication of trial allotment after that you can change your option entry and no changes is permitted after the allocation right so you have to be very clear with your order of academic preference which you are going to put for the first round then on the 5th of june you will get the first, first round allotment result and what you have to do after first allotment uh, result i will tell you later in this video 5th of june after publication of the first allotment candidates uh, uh, regist can register new candidates can register for second round starting 5th of june 13th june is the last day to pay the initial tuition fees of 1 lakh rupees for candidate who are allotted seat in round 1 so if you pay on 1 lakh rupees then only you can basically block your seat or get your seat confirmed remaining amount you have to pay later i will tell you the dates 15th june 2025 closing of csap registration for the second round seat allotment till date that date you can apply but those who apply at that point of time they will be only eligible for the round 2 or the second round round now 17th june will be the publication of the second round seat allotment then 17th june 2025 open registration for the mop up round so student who want to participate in mop up round they have to register at that point of time registration fees will be refunded in case no vacancies are there in preferred branches right so i'll tell you who uh, when uh, in terms of eligibility per person vacancies are there upgradation for those feel willing uh, to and have full paid full fees those students can get upgraded in a mop round yes if you have got a seat and you have paid the full fees then you can participate in the mop round not allotted candidates in the second round can also participate in the mop round and the newly registered candidates right in the mop round can also participate 24th june is the date basically you have to pay the full fees right before this date if you have got the fees uh, seat in the first round and uh, last day to pay the full fees for those who got the seat in the second round so by 24th june all the students of first and second round should pay the complete fees 26th june is when the closing of csap for the registration for the mop up round right and 28th june when they are going to publish the mop up round allotment results so all those people who have paid the fees are eligible 30th june full fees need to be paid before the days only two days are given for paying the full pays fees for the mop up round allotted candidates now that is the important thing i will tell after first allotment what you have to do accept and confirmed so if you are doing accepted and confirmed you will have to pay a partial tuition fees of 1 lakh rupees remaining tuition fees you have to pay by 24th which i showed you in the previous screen right so if you don't pay any 1 lakh rupees fees your seat will be automatically cancelled so remember that don't do this mistake if you are willing to go ahead in this situation for the first round accepted and opted for upgrading so those students who are willing to pay 1 lakh they'll pay 1 lakh and they can participate in the next round also and get the possible upgrade 
and the third type of student not allotted any seat in the first round and the new candidates they they don't need to pay any fees so if you are not got the seat don't worry you don't need to pay but still you will be automatically moved to the next round so hope it is clear after first round three type of students are there now what happens after second round of allotment for second round of allotment also the first category of students are accepted and confirmed candidate must pay the full fees tuition plus caution deposit by specific date i mentioned all this 24th of you know again same day 24th of june failure to do so will result in cancellation of the seat itself and in the second round also there will be student called accepted and opted for upgrading so you can still upgrade but that condition is that you have to pay the full fees plus caution deposit and then participate in the next round for upgradation so only those who pay the full fees are eligible for upgrading if you have paid the partial fees of 1 lakh rupees you are not eligible for upgrading in the second round right you were eligible for upgrading in the first round but by in the second round only if you pay the full fees then only you are eligible for upgrading now next is this what happens if fees increases because you have got upgraded campus branch your fees slabs can increase then difference you have to pay then only seat will be confirmed if fee increases you have to pay the difference if the fee decreases the extra amount will be refunded or adjusted in the next year's fees that is the two way most of the time it will be adjusted right and uh, in the next year fees and may not if it is a small amount if it is a bigger amount it may be refunded also now not allotted a new candidates so if you are not allotted in uh, or the new candidates who has not made any payment and they have not uh, got any seat also these students will be automatically considered for next round and next round is nothing but the mop up round but the condition of mop up round is that there should be the seat available if there are no seats available after second round seat allotment mop up round may not happen also so please remember that put your choice entry in such a way that you should get a seat in the round 2 itself now let's talk about the mop up round right so mop up round as i clearly said only happens if there are vacancies and the details of mop up round will be given by amrita university later how many seats in how many brambish branch are available but if you want to know the eligibility criteria for the mop up round right so those students who has paid the full fees and are looking for upgradation only those students will be eligible to participate in the mop up round so you should have paid full fees of the round 1 to or round 2 you should have paid the full fees of the course for one year then you are for upgradation in the mop up candidates who have not allotted a seat in the second round they can also participate in the mop up round automatically and the new candidate who has not participated in any of the previous rounds which is round 1 or round 2 those are also eligible for mop up rounds next is general note is that admission is come from only after eligibility verification which is the percentage marks in the class 12th right and if it is not um, you know valid then your admission may get cancel second candidates must also submit all the required documents as instructed in right without that you will your app application or your admission will not be confirmed so in the next video i'm going to talk about the documents which are required for amrita uh, app menu admission process thank you and take care